Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set up this Cuisinart SS-12 Coffee Center Brew Basics Coffee Maker. So I just did an unboxing video. I've got everything out of the box. And now we're going to set it up before we brew our first pot of coffee and our first K-cup. This coffee maker is on sale right now for $90. Normally retails for $150. It'll do um, a coffee pot, 12 cup coffee pot on one side and a K-cup on the other side. So you should have gotten this in your box. These are paper filled, number four cone paper filters, a um, scoop, one tablespoon scoop, two charcoal filters, these are ch carbon charcoal filters, and a manual. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna take our, our, our water filter holders out. So this is on the coffee pot side. The coffee pot side and the K-cup side each have their own reservoir. So then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna find another holder. These holders are exactly the same. I can interchange those, but we, and that's why they send you two of these carbon filters. Okay, so we're gonna set the carbon filters up first. You're gonna need a bowl or a cup of just water. So these are carb, there's carbon in here, so there's gonna be some carbon dust. And we've gotta let these soak for 10 minutes. Now, when they're soaking, you're gonna see some gray dust coming out of it and this bowl is going to the water is going to turn pretty dark gray after a while so after 10 minutes we're going to let these soak for 10 minutes we're going to go over to the sink and rinse them really quick and then these are our holders and on one side it says open here you're just going to open it up like that and then this has a flat side and then a curved side the curved side goes down it fits in the holder like that and then we're going to put this in the coffee maker and the k-cup side but first, we're gonna let them soak. Okay, so while that is soaking, we're gonna clean some parts. So this is our reusable filter. This is our filter basket. And this is our carafe. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna clean this out. What you can dish, these are all dishwasher safe, all three of these, but we're just gonna wash them with some soap and water really quick to get them ready for our first cup of coffee. So what I'm gonna show you now, we can do this while these carbon filters are cleaning. So I've got my craft all cleaned up. I've got it filled up to the 12 mark with just fresh water. Now we're going to put the water back in here. This is where the water always goes. We're gonna do a fresh water rinse. So put your filter basket in. You'll notice there's this little notch right there. You'll see a notch right there and kind of this handle. Line those two things up and it'll go right in. If you don't get it right, your lid won't close. So it has to kind of go in. We don't need to put a filter in right now. We're gonna leave the filter out. So let's dump the water right there in the back. All 12 cups. Okay, so I've got the water on the, this side. It's not quite up to the 12 mark, but that's okay. We're gonna put the coffee pot in with the lid. We're gonna close this lid because the hot water is gonna come out of here. Again, we're not gonna put a filter or, a, or coffee in here. We just wanna run a fresh water rinse. Close this. I've got it plugged in to a two prong outlet. We're gonna come up here and turn it on. This switch has to be right here. Then we're gonna hit a carafe brew and that light's gonna come on. Okay, so this thing is a little different. You don't put the, the see how the switch rotates? So I'm gonna turn it off. It's not too intuitive on what to do. So you don't wanna put it in auto off or auto on. You've gotta have it in program, auto off. Yeah, it says it has to be in program, clock or auto off position to initiate instant brewing. So I had it in the auto on position and that's for when I wanna brew a pot of coffee in the morning. So I'm gonna put it in the program, the auto off, or the clock is down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna turn it on. Then I'm gonna hit the carafe brew. And then that light's gonna pulse. That lets me know that it's starting to heat the water. Yeah, I don't know if I like that design or not. That's a little different. Okay, so now it's started. So it's just brewing that hot water through the coffee maker and just cleaning out the inside of the machine. And we're just gonna dump this water away and then we'll be ready to go. 
But we got to do the same thing on the K-cup side too. We're going to fill the water reservoir on the K-cup side, and then we're going to run a few brews through the K-cup side with no K-cup in it. And just to check up, see our water's turning really gray on our filters. So about the time, this takes about 12 minutes to run that full pot through. That's when the filters will be done. Okay, so we're just about done with this fresh water rinse. It gets kind of loud. Be careful, this gets hot. This does lift up, just, it comes warped a little bit sometimes and lifts up, but. We are gonna get some beeps. I think about four beeps when we're done. And you'll wanna be careful, this water is really hot. After it's done, we're gonna turn it off so it turns the warming plate off. Okay, so it beeped at us, it, let it, it, it lets us know it's done. This light turned blue, but we wanna turn it off. So just come up here, hit the off button, turn everything off. Be careful opening this up. There is a lot of steam. Now this is all clean. I'm gonna go throw this water down the drain. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put the water filters in. Again, this thing opens up on one side only. Put the flat side up. They're both identical. Snap it closed. I like to take the one, I like to put these in the holder. Then I'm gonna take it over to the sink. That way I got something to hold it. Run a bunch of, run water down in here for like 15, 20 seconds. It just gives it one final rinse. And again, both of these are identical. And it just goes right there. Make sure you, you, you uh, push it down all the way into that groove. Otherwise it will float. It has to kind of get fit snug. And again, there's a cutout for it. Push it down. Otherwise if it's up, it'll kind of float around. Okay, so now we got to clean this side with some water. So let, use your carafe or, or, or a pitcher or something, but fill this side up with water now. Now again, it's, only, it's got a max line. See that max line? Fill it up to the max. Don't overfill it or, or it will leak out the back. Okay, so make sure you got a coffee mug underneath here. Again, this is where your K-cup would go, but we're not gonna put a K-cup in, but we need the needle basket installed. So if, you're, if your needle basket is out, make sure it's installed. You know, I wish that was held in there a little better. Push this down till it snaps. Okay, so now we're gonna turn the coffee maker on. Since we've got water in it now, before this pod brew light was not lit. So it's lit now because I've got water in it and my add water light is off. So those two things have to be off, or that has to be off and that on for this side to work. Let's pick a pod size so we can go eight, 10, or 12. I'm gonna leave it on eight, and then I'm gonna select pod brew. And again, this is just gonna be a fresh water rinse. We'll dump this water out when we're done. So it's, it's pretty quiet at first. Ooh, getting a bunch of steam up. Bunch of steam right up through here. This light pulses when it's brewing. So for this first brew, we may not get a full eight ounces out. Sometimes it has to kind of prime the pump inside there and, and do some things. So for the next one, we should get a full eight ounces out. And again, be careful that water is really hot. You know, I did get a few drips from around. Normally, I only like to see the drips come out of the funnel, but I did get a few kind of coming out around the machine. Hopefully, it's not going to do that when we get a cake up in there. So you can hear kind of like a pump running. Okay. So we've got our water filters installed. We've done two fresh water rinses, one on the coffee pot side, one on the K-cup side. This thing's ready to go. Check out my next video where we're actually gonna brew some coffee and check some temperatures and see how well it tastes. I'll put a link to this in my show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you do click on the link, I do get a little bit of money from the clicks, but the products don't cost you anymore. So thanks everybody for your support. If you could, please like and subscribe.